Hi, welcome to Solid Edge ST10 video tutorial. I want to do that dome exercise in Solid Edge. So there were some problems you can see because this is a parasolid based program. I couldn't do a pattern with 20 instances, so I went for one with 19 instances. And only the active body is really visible, the other ones are transparent. Also, I couldn't use the full surface, I went for what it's called here, a blue surf. But let's have fun with Solid Edge. First, make our base reference planes visible. So I go for a sketch on the top plane. I need a circle. Diameter might be 200 and add a dimension as well. Okay, close that sketch. Now let's go to surfacing and make an extrude with that circle. Make it in that direction, let's say 50 millimeters and finish, cancel this out. Now, in order to get a dome, I need a point, but that point has to be on a plane, not on that one. I need another plane. So let's go for a plane parallel to the top plane, and let's go for 150. Okay, now let's do a sketch. Let's see. Well, that should do it. Let's go for a sketch on that plane. Sketch right there. And I need only a point. So go for a point and put it right in the center. And that's it. Close that sketch. Finish. Cancel this out. Now I can go for a blue surf. Go for blue surf, select that edge, and I need a guide curve, and the guide curve would be this one. So, what's wrong? That's okay. Now I got it. I got it twice, obviously, so that's back pedal. Okay, select that edge, not the sketch. So maybe hide the sketch and I'll select that edge. And then the point. And now you could change that to tank and continuous. And this one to parallel to section. And therefore, I had to use that plane, otherwise it will not work. That's okay. And next, finish, cancel this out. I might push that plane a little bit up. So edit the definition and put this on 180 distance. Yeah, that's okay. Maybe I can even change this one a little bit. Go there and there you can see that little arrow. You can change that value and you could even drag it over like this and then it will get more like the shape I want it to be, or even a little bit more. Maybe like this. Oh yeah, this looks nice. And finish, and okay. Now let's hide the extrude. And I want to trim that surface, therefore I will need another plane, but maybe first trim it with this plane. So go for trim. Select the surface, select the plane, and remove 
this side and confirm finish cancel this out now I need another plane one with an angle let's see angled I will select this plane and that plane and now the angle should be let's take a look 18 18 yes in that direction now let's trim once more trim this surface with that plane and remove this part of the surface confirm finish cancel this out nice now I can do it I think it's the same way I did it in fusion I will use that edge and put planes normal to that edge okay so let's go for our planes I need where is it normal to curve and select that edge and depending on the position you have to do it the one one way or the other so the whole edge is one so I would go I need five planes I would go for 0 0.2 for the first one I need another one again auto curve select the edge go here it's 0 0.4 another one if you select it up here it will switch select it here and it should be 0 0.6 I need only four so another one again normal to curve select the edge right here and go for 0 0.8 great now I need a sketch on the front plane maybe hide the plane 4 hide the plane 5 yeah and hide that sketch it's profile set for my blue surf yeah okay I need a new sketch so go for a sketch on the front plane maybe hide the trimmed surface and I need these four planes in my sketch so I think that's this one project to sketch okay project one two three and four I will need a line a rotation axis so I will want to draw a line just like this which is vertical close that sketch finish cancel this out and now I can do my revolves so go for surfacing go for revolved select that line select this edge make it symmetric go for let's say 45 degrees finish next one go for 45 next one next one the last one cancel this out quite nice okay so let's hide the planes and show our trimmed surface this one yeah 
Let's thicken this one. Should be up here thicken. I want to thicken that surface in that direction 10 millimeter. Okay, finish. Now let's hide that trim surface. It's already hidden. Now I want to split that body. So go right here and go to split. I want to split that body with, let's say, this surface. Then I want to split this body with that surface. Split this one with that one. And the last one. I could hide that sketch, finish, cancel this out. And now you could make parts for an assembly out of these solids. Just go for multi body publish. I will try to pattern these. But because it's a parasolid based program, I cannot do it with 20. I could do it in NX and I could do it in SolidWorks, which are also parasolid based, but there are always differences. So let's make a pattern. Go for. Oh, I will need, of course, the sketch. Because I need that axis. Okay, I want to pattern a body, this one, and I want to do a sketch right on this plane, circle in that direction, make it 360 degrees and 19. And finish. Now go to the next body, which would be that one. Again go for a pattern, go for a body, select the body, select that plane, top plane, again make a circle, that direction, close the sketch, finish then switch to the next body, this one, another pattern, another body pattern, select top plane, another circle, close that sketch, finish. Next would be this one, pattern, body, select the body, go for that plane, draw another circle, close that sketch. In order to pattern this one, I couldn't even do it with 19 or with 2 because it will intersect, it will not intersect at the center and I will get another zero thickness error message. So I need another body and subtract a little bit from this part. I need a sketch on, so let's go to make this one the active body. That's this one. Go for a sketch on the top plane. I will need a small circle. Maybe like this. Close that sketch. And I want to make a cut with this one. So make a cut with that circle. And it should go up with finite extent, 
maybe like this and finish and cancel this out you could go of course for let's change that option to from to extent I could make it to a plane that should do the trick or I would get another cut through all that should do it in that direction finish and okay now I can pattern this one so go for another pattern go for a body select this one go for a sketch on the top plane again a circle close that sketch finish and I'm done so I hope you enjoyed this one if you did please give it a like or leave a comment if you want to see more please give it a like or leave a comment Please subscribe to my YouTube channel, please subscribe to my Facebook cat fan page. I want to get more likes and subscriptions over there as well. Thanks for watching. See you to the next one. Bye bye.